Well hello and welcome to Gymnasium Total Nourish Channel. Today I will show you how to change from integrated to dedicated graphics card for Windows 10. Now this recently just changed with the latest Windows 10 update, so you'll need to do a little bit extra step. Now the first thing you'll need to do is to fire up uh, your NVIDIA control panel, uh, like this. Uh, and if you do so use AMD, um, fire up Catalyst or um, if you use the other one. And you can do the same setting there. And now here, as you might remember, under Manage 3D Settings, uh, you can choose the High Performance NVIDIA Processor uh, da -da 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 -da, and select Apply. And uh, you'll do the same, of course, on Set Physics Configuration. You can select it there. Now, thing is, on Manage 3D Settings, you can see that Windows OS now manages the selection of the graphics processor. And yes, it does. It's a little bit unfortunate, but uh, you'll have to right-click the Windows key here and click Settings, or just Start Settings. We go to System, and on System, we go down to Display. On Display, we go to Graphics Settings, and we're here. And here we can see Graphics Performance Preference. Here is the new menu that you need to set which graphics card to use. It's uh, kind of a little bit unfortunate, but um, you'll actually have to do this. Uh, if, you, if your computer uses the wrong graphics card, you'll need to go in here and uh, force it. So to force your computer to use your NVIDIA card uh, for a specific application, you'll need to select Desktop App or My Microsoft Store App if you know that's what you use. Uh, and you'll click Browse. And then you'll need to navigate to whatever application that is you want to be able to run with NVIDIA graphics processor specifically. Now this should be automatic uh, if uh, your computer doesn't have an opinion on which graphics card to use, it will use the one you've specified in NVIDIA control panel. So hopefully that is enough, but it might actually not be enough. And then you'll need to go for every single game or whatever you need to run with your, your NVIDIA uh, graphics card. Uh, and you'll need to go into the menu and you need to select it. So here we have my, the game from the depth, XE. We click add. And here we can select options and you can see it says let Windows decide. Uh, and now we can force it to use the high performance NVIDIA one and we can click save and there we have it. So uh, a little bit unfortunate, but this is the extra step you'll need to do if your computer does not actually use the NVIDIA uh, graphics that you have preferred in NVIDIA control panel. And same goes for AMD uh, like it should run on the Catalyst setting, but if Windows thinks something else, you'll need to go in there and set each and every application inside the Windows menu. So at least now you'll know. If you are missing your NVIDIA control panel, please check uh, the video in the description. And if you need to update your NVIDIA drivers uh, or any drivers, actually, uh, you can check my video in the description as well. But hopefully this did help you. And if it did, please leave a like and do subscribe for uh, tech tutorials every Tuesday. So I'll see you then. And we have a lot of gaming uh, content too. Anyways, thanks for watching. Jimadism signing out.